Today we're talking about the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1. This is a flight stick and throttle unit for Xbox. I'm playing on the Xbox Series X, but you can also use it for the Xbox Series S or PC. Or uh, for the Xbox One, you can use it for some games as long as they're downloadable and not on cloud gaming. So basically today, as I play through, um, I'm just going to talk through a little bit about this setup and answer some common questions and uh, show you around the stick to see how it works. So we're in Micro Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 right now. Again, I'm playing on Xbox Series X. And you'll see there's two parts to this unit. There's the flight stick, which is in my right hand. And this controls what you would expect. You know, you could push it forward and backwards to, to control the pitch of the airplane and you can rock it side to side to control the roll of the airplane. And then also what's neat about this uh, is you can twist it to either the left or the right, and it will control the yaw of the airplane, so that, that would be taking the place of what a rudder pedal would usually do. The rudder is actually disabled on this particular airplane during this flight, so you can't see it, but that's normally how it works, and it, it works really well. So... There's a few different buttons on, on each of these units, too. Um, on the flight stick, I don't really use many of these for Mic Microsoft Flight Simulator, but for Ace Combat, there's like a trigger button and an enemy selector and a weapon selector and stuff like that. And then on the throttle unit, which primarily is used to control the speed, uh, there's also some buttons on the back that are mapped to your flap settings where you can uh, put your flaps ups or down. And then there's a trim if you want to trim out the aircraft overall. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, if the flight stick is too uh, hard to move or too easy to move, there's a knob on the bottom that adjusts the tension. You can make it a little a little harder if you prefer that. Um, but other than that, you know, I do recommend this. I've played probably about 20 hours with it now. It's really fun for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's really fun for uh, Ace Combat if you're into the fighter games. And uh, I, you know, I'd really recommend it. So just to wrap up, we'll, we'll show you how you can do a landing here. It's definitely more fun landing with one of these sticks than it is the actual controller. Makes you feel like you're more, more at an arcade or something. Um, and one, one other thing to mention is that you'll see right now I have the, the stick and the throttle separated into two units. They can be connected into one. There's like a little Allen wrench that comes with it. Um, but I prefer to keep them separate. And usually when I'm not recording, I, I have like the throttle to my left on the couch and the flight stick to my right on the couch. And sometimes the cord might seem a little small. So one pro tip is that if you put the cord actually like underneath your legs instead of over your legs it gives you an extra few inches which makes it a lot more comfortable so just something to keep in mind all right so you'll see we're coming in we're landing at miami here about to land still i, I was about to say it's a little more intuitive than using the controller for both the speed and the uh the flight stick so i like having two separate units like this it works really well and we're back on the ground, so again, you know, this thing's a lot of fun. If you're thinking of picking one up, I got a link in the uh, description of the video down below. You can just click through and check it out. But otherwise, I think this was like 80 or 90 bucks on Amazon. I recommend it. You can uh, reconfigure any of the buttons to do what you want, to brake or reverse thrust or anything. And for like a, a moderately priced unit, this is just a really good deal. Um, you can have it set up at parties. Kids will love it. Even adults love it if they've had a few drinks or something, and uh, it really takes the flight some experience to the next level. So, hope you guys get to try it out. Uh, drop a comment and let me know what you think of it yourself. But otherwise, have a good time and hope you get flying soon.